All right, this one's gonna be on W3M macros. So the last couple of videos I did on uh, W3M, uh, we use like external programs like FCF or Surfraw or some other programs to um, toggle settings on and off. But if you wanna keep it simple and you don't wanna use any external programs, you can actually just use straight up W3M uh, and buying some hotkeys and it'll, it'll do this job, but you know, you have to remember the hotkeys and stuff like that um, So I'll show you some of that here. All right, so let's say for example, we bust out the uh, Search here, but if I wanted to use something like uh, a search engine You know in my other videos, I'll show you how to use like a uh, surf raw and stuff like that um, you don't actually have to. You can actually just bind it to a uh, hotkey. So, for example, if I want to search DuckDuckGo, I just have to hit T here and I'll open in a new tab and I'll go to that site. And the first link, it, you know, it jumps to the first link and we hit enter. Well, the first link in DuckDuckGo is um, basically the, um, uh, what was that, the search field? So, if I hit T now, look at this. If I hit T, right? It open in a new um, tab and it goes to the first link and I'll hit enter. So the first link is the search field and it automatically uh, takes us to the, you know, um, the field here. So uh, all you gotta do is hit T. So for example, we'll cancel out this here. So I hit T and it goes to the, you know, the field at the bottom here, right? So we can actually just type in our um, keyword or whatever. So say Linux 2020 or something like that, right? And then we search. So you know, it, it takes a few more steps than uh, the surf raw thing, but it's a native solution. You don't actually have to, you know, use any external programs. Um, we're just using straight up macros to achieve this, right? Uh, I'll give you another example here. Let's say, for example, Stack Exchange, right? So I had to hit SX here as the hotkey, SX, and it does the same thing. Um, basically, it goes through the. Um, Stack Exchange website, it goes to line seven and then, you know, it goes to um, the next tab. So we're basically we're doing uh, to the site, go to line seven, hit tab and then hit enter, right? So we hit uh, line seven, hit tab and then hit enter. Basically that's all it's doing and then now we're in the text field here, right? And then I can search for, I don't know, Tmux, uh versus vim or something if that's even in there is that in there it'll say something about it but these are your you know your results here right uh so that's how that works you know with um macros for searching different search engines i mean i still prefer my um external solution because you know we have xef here to to do all these um stuff and it's quicker because if you have like too many um, search engines, uh, you have to buy like a lot of the hotkeys. But if you only use a few or, you know, maybe three or four, then this will be fine solution also, right? Uh, as far as the other one, um, what was the other one? Oh yeah, for toggling options on and off. Um, this is, uh, what are we doing here, right here? We're using set options and for example this one is uh toggling the table borders so we're doing borders toggle or if you're doing images we can do um you know image toggle or a uh, user agent we can toggle you know it to be empty or you have like a an agent in there so i'll show you some example of that here right uh let's go to a site that has borders what was that one hacker news so this one you see that there's no borders here uh the table borders but if you want to enable it um what's our hotkey for that this one is leader t for table borders all right so we hit leader t and look at that that's the the borders that we enable and then um leader t again now normally if you wanted to do this um without the macros you know, you have to open your um, settings. What was that one? Your settings, and you go down to I think it was a uh, borders, something like that. Yeah, this one here, right? Uh, line twenty-seven here. 
right? You would have to go to yes, uh, and then you have to go to OK, and then you have to reload. Was that the right one? I'm not sure. Let's do it again here. Border. Is there. Now that's the only one. Okay, yeah, we hit yes. And we go down to OK. And then we reload. And there you go. See, you would have to do that manually. And it takes forever to go in here and uh, look for the border. Um, this one. And we hit no again. And then go down. Uh, what was that one? What the hell was that? 67. All right. And they have to reload. It would take too long. So that's why you have these macros that uh, does it automatically. All right. So I did just hit leader and T. Look at this. Leader T, leader T, leader T, leader T. All right. So that's that's how you would like automate like uh, toggling settings on and off, and you know for the images, we can do that too. Let's see, here's open um, where's our Google? We'll search for uh, what did we search last time? The Matrix. Okay, we'll do the Matrix again. How about that? How about trilogy this time? Do I spell that right? Hopefully I did. Um. So see right now, like by default, I, I don't have my um, W3M, you know, images enabled. But now that we have our macros set up, uh, which is leader I, so we do this uh, leader I for images, and look at that, we have, you know, um, images enabled. So leader I again to toggle it off, real quick, right? So that's how we do uh, with that one. As far as the user agent, um, we'll empty it out here. We'll do uh, leader E for empty. Now, one site that doesn't work um, with, um, you know, if you don't have like a, a user agent in it is Twitch. That's the one I know for sure. So that's what we're going to do here. We're going to use uh, Twitch here. Twitch.tv, right? So you see right now, if I go to it, it's empty, right? You can't do anything unless you go to the mobile site, which we're not using the mobile site right now. But if we uh, switch to the uh, user agent, which is uh, what's our hotkey, uh, leader A. So leader A here. If I switch to uh, leader A, it will actually uh, switch to our um, mobile site. So it'd be like m dot twitch dot tv, and that's what the user agent does. It it, it basically takes you to the mobile site if um you know. Uh, the default is the desktop site or depending on whatever the user agent is it might give you like a different look and stuff like that so that's how that works and now you can see uh, we can browse you know twitch and we can do watch videos and stuff like that uh, that I showed you last time but we're not doing it right now um, so that's how that works right now the thing with the user agent here is that um, you know, if I empty it here, so this one's to empty here, leader E. Um, it doesn't work if um, you're currently on the site. Uh, so you have to actually close out the tab or close out, you know, W3M, whatever. And then it will actually um, hopefully save the changes here. So you see here, it's still that way. But if you open it again, let's see here, um, twitch.tv. It'll be empty again, right? So just make sure when you're using this or you're trying it out, um, that's the difference. You actually have to close out the tab and then open it again in a you know, uh, new tab and then search or go to the site again. And then you can actually do uh, leader A and there you go. Or whatever user agent you're using. I'm using this uh, Opera, I think it was called Opera Mini or whatever it was for the user agent. Anyways, that's it for toggling options. Um, as far as, you know, if you want to toggle other options, um, of course you want to go into your options and, and look for the stuff that you want to toggle. But the other one is um, in the configs, what was the other config? They gave you the name of it, sorry. So let's say for example, this one is, you know, the display borders here. Uh, basically, that's where you get the name in here, you know. Uh, so depending on whatever you're looking for. So the other one was called image something like that. What was the image? 
Display image. Okay, where the hell is that? There you go. This one here on line 25, right? So all you gotta do is if you're looking here, these are the options you can actually enable, or disable, depending on what it is. You know, if it's colors, then you have to like type in the colors or whatever it is. Um, anything else I say about that? Not really. I mean, hopefully you understood that. Oh yeah, another thing is that uh, there's also called reshape and reload. Reload is basically refreshing the page. Reshape, I forgot what it is. Um, it's on this um, readme here. If you want to learn about the different options you can do. Uh, reshape and reload is kind of the same thing, but reload is more, I'll say you use, you should use reload for images, of course, and also user agent. That's mainly what I use it for um, when I'm doing the reload here. As far as the other options, I think you can just use a reshape is fine. Uh, it's much quicker than reload. Um, anything else in here? Pretty much it, you know, I mean, I, I show you the uh, surf raw and, and, and toggling options, but these are native uh, options you can do. Another cool hotkey or another th uh, macros you can do is like uh, this help thing here. It'll show you your um, your key binding, your custom key binding. So this one is leader question mark here. So if I do a uh, leader question mark, uh, it will take me, you know, to my custom key binding that I do, all right? Um, so there you go. That's a good one. I, that I discovered from what's the other site here? This NTM Labs here, right? So read up these two pages if you want to learn some more tips and tricks. They have some cool stuff in here. Um, and this one is just shell commands. Um, you know, man W3M. If you want to get an, a quick access, and this one is just a leader M here. So I hit leader M. If I did it right here, leader M, uh, open me the, uh, you know, W3M man page if I want to look at it, right? So quit out of this and we're back. Anyways, those are some of the macros you can do um, that you don't actually have to use external scripts to do. I mean, I should, I should probably still show you how to do this one because it's quick, you know, um, with FZF. And you don't have to like remember multiple hotkeys to do this, but this one is a native solution and that you don't actually need an external program to do this. And it's probably the most preferred way, but, uh, I still like my FCF way for, you know, searching, uh, all these surf raw LVs. Imagine if you have to buy all these hotkeys for all these sites, you know, it's just inconvenient, you know? So that's why I still like this solution, although it is an external programs that um, it's not necessary if you're only using a couple of, uh, you know, sites or whatever it is. So either or I'll, I show you that one already, but uh, I'll probably show you the FCF way for uh, settings also. Um, but who cares about that? These these are the native solution. This is pretty what you want to use. Um, if you just, you know, want to use pure W3M anyways, I'll uh, post this in the show notes in the description. Uh, if you want to test it out or, you know, modify or, you know, uh, if you come up with something good, uh, cause I don't know all these, uh, macros, uh, hook me up, right? Let me know about it. Let me know your macros. That'd be it for this one.